Love you. Guys, Love you. you were just on Guys, video. Guys, we were just on video. So. So this is what it's like to be camping in something that was very affordable, free in fact, that we've done all the work on ourselves. I don't think it costs any more than like having a monthly payment for an RV. Um, I don't know how much a monthly payment for an RV would be. Um, so, so far our repairs and upkeep has been about a thousand dollars since we got on the road. And to get it up and running and fix everything was two thousand. So at this point, five weeks in, we're at about $3,000 because the RV itself was free. Come back, please. So that's just what it is. You can choose to either have a payment for your RV or you can just know that, I mean, a, a brand new RV, you're going to have maintenance on it too. You're going to have things break. You're going to have tires that go flat. And so we can have um the normal wear and tear on our rv that's paid for or we could have normal wear and tear on top of an rv payment so that's just the way that we've chosen to do it Megan's on a walk. We're gonna go down and look at the lake. How does that sound? You're not getting, you're not getting swimsuits on. We're not going swimming today. No, we're just, we are gonna go walk down and look at the, um, at the lake. Let's get Tina. Come on, Tina. We have all of this lovely space. The girls can run. There's not a huge amount of trees, like as in bushes, to make you worry about. Where's my kid? Are they where they're supposed to be? It's really pretty. The lake is gorgeous. And we're gonna go play in it. We're well, we're gonna go put our toes in it for now. And it could be the time of year. Like I wonder if maybe in July it would be really, really hot. But here in the middle of October it's really gorgeous. And Tina. The um the fees are thirty dollars a night. We'll be here for one night. So it's nice to have the boots and the sandals. So if we have warm weather, you can use your sandals. If we have cold weather, you can use your boots. And I, this is deep enough that I could actually drown in it, huh? Probably. Um, hey guys, so this is Megan Norp for RV. And any of you that watch her channel, which is Norp, not Versus, Norp and South. Mm -hmm. Why did I want to say verses? For yeah. <laughs> oh. Sometimes it's like that in RV. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is Marissa. And Marissa just got home. And you guys were gone for a year, right? Yeah. And you we lived in your year. RV. Mm -hmm. You had a couple moments where you were in people's basements. Yes. We had. So I... we, all have, we all have different um, viewpoints because of where we are on our trips. I'm done. Five months, five weeks. So at this point in time, what do you guys think are some of the, uh, the things that you thought were going to happen? Maybe some of the preconceived notions you have that didn't, but also what are some of the pleasant surprises that you found on your, mm -hmm. on your trip? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I don't, I don't have a nickname. 
Uh, my name is Mike. I have a lot of nicknames, but we're not going to go over that. Right now. We had uh, we've had plenty of horror stories, so that did not did not surprise no, me. Then. Um, I think for me the biggest. But we had a lot of breakdowns, and so I'm happy that these two have not had to deal with that. But you're hoping we will eventually. Just no, I, yeah, there were to... there were a few times. She's not there. She's not there. Oh, I'm not here. Well, Quiet, yeah. boys. <laughs> Marissa <laughs> never helped. <laughs> we can say whatever. For me, I, I still can't really stand to be that close to Megan. So, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> we should say that the fact that a conversation like this would never happen in real life. We're just nice and quiet here. We're just talking. Right. No one sees all the children that have been hovering within, like, yeah. the, the like bubble can, of this. I can touch six like, children. Right they're now. all <laughs> just off.